Hello, it is Friday, October 27th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday crossword, which means we are going to be solving a themeless puzzle to kick off the solving weekend. And this themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Noah Bizanson, Alan Blunder, Mitchell Turek, and as always, the indomitable Shawmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They do, of course, sustain this channel and bring us this series. I'm very grateful to them for that. So thanks to them for their efforts. Thank you to everybody who's a patron. And if you'd like to become one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. There's also a link in the description field and there you can find all of the bonus videos available to patrons as well as the let's check the crosses official mug for benefactors. And those uh, bonus solves include, well, I did actually record yesterday the um, latest boss wards fall themeless leak uh, competition puzzle. So I might put that up tomorrow, I suppose, because today I should do the um, mini puzzle puzzle pseudo speed solve. So you can look forward to both of those in the next day or so. And uh, thanks again to all of the patrons. Um, you can find, I already said where you can find it. <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing you can find in the description field is a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server. So check that out if you're inclined. There's a nice friendly chat community over there. So all are welcome. And um, finally, do subscribe to the channel or like the videos. I always forget to say that one, um, but I know that all those things help. So thanks for your likes. Thanks for your subscriptions. And uh, let's get on with the solve. This is a Friday themeless crossword by Adrian Johnson, who's constructed around half a dozen puzzles for the New York Times. So uh, we'll see what he's got in store for us today. These do tend to be sort of punny and misdirection filled uh, editions of the crossword. Let's find out. It was edited as always by Will Shorts and let's start solving. Award bestowed at the Kids Choice Awards. Okay, well, I don't know that I ever actually have seen the Kids Choice Awards, but I, I'm pretty sure it's an MTV thing. No, is it an MTV thing or is it a Nickelodeon thing? It's probably a Nickelodeon thing, but I remember that they, they put slime all over everything. So I <laughs> That is something I remember about Nickelodeon. So anyway, I think that'll probably be the answer. Let's see. We've heard enough of this nonsense. Spare me, maybe? And like some TV talk shows informally. Uh, late night, oh, but spelled N-I-T-E because that's often used in commercial context, that spelling. There's a lot more to this than you think. It's deeper? No. It probably it's something. Outbreaks. Outbreaks could be spates. There was, you had a sort of spate of nervousness or something, an outbreak of nervousness. That's maybe not the best usage, but you get the meaning. Heart. The meat of the issue could be the heart of it. And a contractor's figure. So a builder could give you an estimate on a job. Um, I'm sure the one happening next door with all the drilling is not cheap. Took on a pet project uh, cat sat. There we go. There you go. You looked after it. So here we go. Here's here's an example of a bit of punny misdirection. I mean, took on a pet project. You, you read that and you think, oh, I'm undergoing something, you know, sort of personal endeavor. But nope, it's not that. It's literally a pet. Oops. Okay. Uh, results of cuts, maybe. Scabs could, you could scab over a, a, a cut on your, I don't know, hand or whatever. Things aren't that simple. And there's a lot more to this than you think. It's not just, it's not, what is this? I don't know. It was called Big Meadows on the California Trail. Uh, this I don't think I know. What about this? Casual Friday gaff. Maybe I have something wrong. Oh, maybe this is spare us. Yeah, it is spare us rather than spare me because casual Friday gaff would be a suit, I suppose. Um, not very casual. So there we go. So it's a, there's a lot more to this than you think. It's not, this must be Benno. I don't, I, could that possibly be right? No, no, it'll be Reno. It'll be Reno, Nevada, the city. And then results of cuts will be scars. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it could be either. You, you could end up eventually with a scar after all is said and done. Okay, so there we go. So Reno is, I guess, was called Big Meadows at some point historically. I'm not familiar with that, but there we go. There's a lot more to this than you think. It's not... 
Still don't see it. Like either main face of El Capitan. Well, speaking of California, this is in uh, Yosemite National Park, and it would be very steep. Okay. Uh, stand near a poser. Oh, an easel. Right. So here's another bit of, of misdirection. You read this and you think it stand is being used as a verb. In, you know, to stand nearby a, uh, you know, someone who's posing or whatever. But uh, nope, it's literally a stand. It's a noun, the easel. Uh, the painter is using to paint the poser. Okay, 90 degrees from norte would be uh, este. So 90 degrees from north would be east in Spanish. And to unclothe would be to strip. Ah, it's not easy. There we go. Sometimes how these crosswords go, there's a lot more to it than you think. It's not easy. Actor digs. Ty digs is an actor. So there we go. At least I recognize. Uh, Pub blank. I don't immediately know what that is. What about this? Climb, ascend. A simple synonym. That probably is the case, but let's check the crosses. House band abbreviation. House band question mark. So house is a genre of electronic music, but again, I think that's probably not what it means. We have multiple indications here. We have the question mark. We have the quotation marks. What is that getting at? House of representatives? What is house... I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Uh, uh, Bibimbap and Tamago Kake Gohan for two are rice dishes. Rice. Uh, these are things served with rice. Rice what? Don't know. Roman philosopher Cioran or, or Cioran, I guess, maybe. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I read that as Roman. Uh, Romanian, sorry. I was completely wrong. That's why I thought maybe the C was a hard hard sound, but I thought that doesn't look very sort of Roman Latin name. Uh, no, I, I don't know that I know this Romanian philosopher. Um, pub. And then here we have apothecary measures. I don't know, doses or... I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. <laughs> Popular Schubert composition. Um, I don't know. I was listening to a lot of Schubert recently, actually, because I saw um, Stanley Kubrick's film, Stanley Kubrick's film um, uh, Barry Lyndon, because it was being shown uh, in the cinema here recently and uh it's a great film so i went and and watched rewatched it and uh, there's just some amazing schubert music in it but anyway that's not not helping me solve this clue uh let's see miniature tiny i don't know cooperative hun hunter with the coral grouper interesting is it in a moray eel maybe i don't know why but for some reason i want this to be an eel and more would allow that to fit. I mean, I don't, I don't know that that's correct, but let's let's try it and see. Its population doubles once a year. Uh, wow, that's very specific. And volatile personality, a live wire. You could say, you know, she's a real live wire. Um, scallopine option, veal scallopine is sort of the classic classic choice there um, as a dish. Uh, it might conclude with a shower informally. Oh, rice, sorry, rice bowls. That must be what this is. Okay, yeah, I should have thought of that immediately, um, but I didn't, so I needed some crosses. But that's the point of them, so fair enough. It might conclude with a shower informally. I don't know. Heat extractors for short. Actress George of Animal Kingdom. Uh, there's an Australian film, Animal Kingdom, that I've seen that's really, really good. Uh, it's fairly, fairly brutal, but, uh, but good. Um, I don't know. Is this that? I'm not sure. Can't think. Uh, 
Okay, well, uh, this corner is really is really tripping. Oh, Ave Maria. There we go. Okay, this is one of those things where, you know, many composers have set this text, so it didn't jump to mind to me immediately. But there, but there we go. I actually can't even think of Schubert's Ave Maria off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up after this. Anyway, I'm sure that's the answer. Uh, pub, oh, pub trivia. There we go, as in a pub quiz. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, solving crosswords will help with those, probably. House band. Oh, it's house... Okay, sorry, I didn't parse this correctly. This is referring to house, the um, television program with um, with Hugh Laurie. And uh, I've never seen it, but I do know that it's about doctors. So I bet it's a, it's a band of doctors, I guess, is what this means, basically. So here we have apothecary measures. Okay, well... A measurement of, I mean, you know, you associate it, honestly, most often with whiskey or, or alcohol, but but an apothecary could measure something in drams. Uh, so that could be it. And then features of many hotel rooms. Mini bars, right. Okay, I didn't even look at this clue. I should have. That would have maybe been one I could have gotten earlier. This looks like maybe the, the name Emil. Uh, alas, it is so. so. Yeah, it is. Sadly, yes. Okay, good. So miniature, oh, miniature's baby. Didn't see that coming. Um, but there we have it. It might conclude with a shower informally. Oh, a PE class. Right. Okay. Physical education. You could take a shower after. Okay. There we go. That's, I was, I was thinking maybe it would be a baby shower because I was thinking Friday puzzle misdirection. I was trying to kind of overthink it. Start by thinking normally, then only overthink if that doesn't work. Its population doubles once a year. Oh, oh, it's Mecca. Right. That's a very clever clue. So the population doubles because of uh, pilgrimage to Mecca, but it doesn't permanently double. It's not as though each year it's double the previous year. It, it sort of temporarily doubles because of all of the, the visitors, the pilgrims. Ah, that's fair. Or, or, or just total visitors, I guess. It probably doesn't only include pilgrims. But um, ah, that's very clever. That's a very clever clue. And I didn't, I didn't get it the first time. I was trying to think of something, I don't know, mathematical or, or scientific or something, but nope. Okay, anyway, don't know the Animal Kingdom answer. Uh, really excited, you're hyper, maybe? Bird whose largest species is called the Goliath. A heron? Just I'm just guessing this because of the H there. Uh, Goliath heron, maybe? Lead runner, for short, or lead runner, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. Playwright awarded the Grand Cross of the Order of St. Olav in 1893. Um, I'm sure I should be able to get this just by thinking, by thinking of who this would be. I guess Order of St. Olav. Henrik Ibsen, probably? That seems really, really likely, actually. Now that I've said it, I think it's almost certainly the answer. Um, but let's, let's look at the crosses. Garter and stockinette in knitting. Uh, I actually haven't a clue what this is about. I'm wondering if there, are these sort of knitting terms rather than articles of clothing or in this context, I'm not sure. Admonishment from Austin Powers. All right. Okay. He says, uh, oh, behave. That's one of his kind of catchphrases in those films. All rise reversal. Be seated. There we go. Novelist whose little fires everywhere became a number one bestseller. Oh, I actually read this. Uh, and now I can't remember the author's name. Um, well, that's annoying. It's Cecile or Celine or something. Uh, Oh, that's, that's infuriating. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> okay. Uh, Celeste, maybe Celine, Celeste. Well, it couldn't be Celine. It could be Celeste. Uh, yeah, let's just try that. I don't remember her. You maybe. Um, lead runner for short. Oh, CEO, the person running a company. Is it that? This looks like Oberon, but it isn't because it doesn't start with O, but get serious in a way. Oh, sober up. Yeah, that sounds right. 
sort of get serious, you know, get, get yourself, get your head in order. Self-starter, yourself. So often when you see starter or ender, things like that, often what it can mean is simply a prefix or a suffix to a word. So you you simply prefix self with your, and that makes makes a valid word itself. So yourself. Okay, children's stories with truffle trees. Oh, that's the Lorax. Wow, I haven't thought about that in more years than I'd care to calculate. Garter. Oh, are these stitches? Are these sort of garter stitch or stockinette stitch? I mean, I don't know anything about knitting, unfortunately, but that's my guess. Let's see if it works. Links things. T oh, as in links, as in a certain category of golf course would be links. And the, although I guess often people use it generically to refer to any golf course, um, but regardless, you, you would use a T, a golf T on it. Uh, jaw to jaws to chat. Uh, jaw jaw not war war as uh, Churchill said. Uh, unfriendly crowd, the haters. And goings on are events, things that happen. Plant growing in tufts, sedge. I suppose. Oh no, okay, I was wrong. It's not. It wasn't. Sorry, that's embarrassing that I said Celeste. You and I, I was spelling her name incorrectly anyway. But it actually was fortunate. No, it wasn't. I was spelling it right. It's Celeste Ng. There we go. It is. It is just Ng is her name. Uh, yes. Okay. I remember that now that I see it. Got it completely wrong when I said it earlier, but at least I remembered vaguely her first name. So that helped me get most of the crosses which in turn ultimately helped me get the last letters. So here we have 66 EG is um, a route to sort of famous US highway. And then slight contact on a pool table is a, a kiss. Is that what you call it? If a Maybe if the cue ball sort of just kisses another ball and doesn't strike it full on, maybe. It sounds plausible to me. Game whose name comes from French for five winning numbers. Uh, is it Kino? I don't... I'm trying to think how that comes from French. Five in French is cinq. Um... I don't know. I think it must be the answer. I don't quite, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a, I'm sure if someone explained to me why, why this was the case, it would be, it would seem incredibly obvious in retrospect, but I'm not quite seeing it now. I just think this must be the answer based on that K being there. And I think, you know, has something to do with winning numbers. I don't, I've never played it. Uh, lightened up, paled your face, maybe paled. Uh, ex element, ex uh, you know, from shock or something. Element exhibiting a blue glow when placed in an, elect in an electric field. That sounds like xenon. Uh, actress George of Animal Kingdom. Leela or Layla? Like the bond. Oh, okay, yeah, it must be Layla. Uh, like the bonds of table salt would be ionic bonds. Um, which. I couldn't exactly explain to you why that's the case, but it sounds right to me for some reason. I think of salt as, as, as having ionic bonds. I don't know why, but for some reason that's sort of vaguely in my memory. Um, response from one who ain't gonna. I don't wanna? Maybe? Um, usually these the clue will match the answer when it comes to this, you know, to modes of speech. Uh, and so gonna, you can imagine, oh, well, there's going to be something in the clue that evokes that. And in this case, I think it's probably this, but we'll check the crosses and see. Word before and after apostrophe S. That's or is that? If you were kind of just alighting, which one is it? It's that? I don't know. Not confident about that. Oh, no, I see. No, it's uh, right. No, it's because they're both Sorry, it's before and after, not before or after. So it's, that's that. There we go. That's, sorry, simpler than what I thought. And that's that. Barossa Valley export. Wine, I'm guessing. But let's look at the crosses. One who might say nothing is real, a nihilist might say such a thing, I suppose. And then care to show me, can I see? Devils and angels, e.g., are, they must be teams. I mean, it's a giveaway that the A 
is capitalized. Obviously, the D is capitalized regardless because it's the beginning of the clue, but this is conspicuous. So it's not generically referring to angels, the uh, you know the creatures, but um, something a proper noun. So probably sports teams. Shire, who played a uh, Corleone from the uh, the Godfather film. So I think this is Talia Shire, uh, who is in the Godfather Part Three, I think. And then labor is toil, maybe work effort. And single-minded philosophy, monism. So single-minded would make sense with mon, you know, from mono for one. And then Blank Davis series starring Betty Gilpin. Uh, do I know this? I don't know. It doesn't ring a bell immediately. Gets ready to dry, say. Rinses, uh, you know, clothing, for instance. And then a group of runners is a slate. Mrs. Davis, this must be the answer. Group of runners. Why is that the case? A slate. Is it a slate of runners in the sense of people in a race competing? I'm not sure. I don't know, but it must be the answer. <laughs> So this is this will be Mrs. Davis, and there we go. That was the Friday crossword. Definitely got stuck a few times, but managed to uh, find my way through. This corner was particularly tricky for me. Um, although, uh, strangely, there were some clues I just hadn't looked at until I ended up ultimately basically moving on, like features of many hotel rooms being mini bars. Should should look at all the clues, especially if you're stuck. Don't not read the clues. Uh, and there we have it. Lots of nice misdirection in here, exactly as we'd expect from a Friday puzzle. So its population doubles once a year. Mecca. Um, what else did we have? I mean, group of runners is, is clearly something clever and punny that I'm not entirely seeing. Lightened up, paled, um, self-starter, your... Took on a pet project, cat set. Yeah, so all, all sorts of um, little puns and, and cleverness running throughout the puzzle. Uh, not not brutally difficult. I just got myself stuck up several times, I think. I mean, I suppose, you know, this thing about rice bowls and Ave Maria, these are bits of specific knowledge, I suppose, that are easier if you know them, whereas, you know, plenty of things in this puzzle are just sort of um, more general kind of words and vocabulary. I guess Celesting, and then I guess there was a fair amount of that. Reno, Ty Diggs, um, a reference to the, to House. Um, yeah, Mrs. Davis. Yeah, so yeah, I guess there there was a fair amount of, uh, of proper nouns and, and specific knowledge going on in this puzzle. So let me know how you fared with that, if you if that was, uh, if that got you um, held up, or if that has, often those things help, but uh, they can, they can do either. In any case, let's let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. I did note some down. I didn't uh, note down all of the, com the the comments with interesting knowledge from yesterday's puzzle because um, there were quite a few actually yesterday. So it was interesting, but but I'm just reading the ones that are sort of necessary to correct me um, because I said something wrong or just didn't provide interesting context. So Dragon Traces explains that. The Hawaiian place name is pronounced Hilo, not Hilo, as I as I think I erroneously pronounced it. So thank you for that. Uh, Kathleen Quinn has some context around Bobby Soxers and says the Lindy Hop is more associated with a dance of the Roaring Twenties, so not so much the Bobby Soxers, whereas the Sock Hop was a teenager's dance party in the 1950s. So there you go. That's something where if you'd presented those in front of me, I would have come to that conclusion, but I just couldn't. Yeah, sock hop didn't come to mind for me at all. So thank you very much for that context. Uh, Kathleen Quinn, uh, also the same <laughs> same Kathleen Quinn, points out regarding Troy, long believed to be merely a myth, ruins identified as Troy were discovered in Western Turkey by the German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann in 1870. And yes, I actually did know that. And I that was why I kind of corrected myself when I was speaking about Troy. I think I sort of first erroneously said mythological Troy or something like that. And then I corrected myself to indicate that I was, that the, the sort of Trojan war is likely the mythological part. Um, not the, not the existence of Troy itself, but I probably wasn't clear enough in my correction. So thank you for making that explicit. Uh, Tom Sella explains Elsie, the cow is the mascot for Borden Dairy. And, uh, 
Oh, and that was all I had. All right, well, there we go. That, thank you to everybody who left comments as usual. I'll be back tomorrow for the themeless Saturday crossword, so do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm-hmm.